Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Rachel Ammer and I am back with another recipe to share. I've been sharing it on my Instagram. If you guys have me on Instagram, it's epic. I'm still on my winter vibes. I'm still on my hearty food. I think I'm always on the hearty food. But essentially, I have got the perfect winter stew that is vegan friendly. It's rich, it's hearty, it's so delicious and comforting and I'm going to share it with you guys now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the hearty stew recipe. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm here every week with new videos to share with you guys. So this is very similar to a traditional beef stew except obviously I'm not going to use beef. I'm going to use regular vegetables and I am using wine, vegan red wine. So if you don't drink alcohol, we are going to cook off the alcohol but if you don't drink alcohol, I've heard people make it with non-alcoholic wine or you just skip out the wine part altogether. It will be a different stew as the wine is quite essential for something like this. But if you want more recipes, I've got plenty of other recipes. Maybe this one's not for you. But for those of you who used to love a beef stew, this vegan version is going to make you very, very happy. So I've got some mushrooms here, some red wine, get a vegan red wine, some tomato, passata, aubergines, rosemary, bay leaves, thyme. They're going to add some amazing flavors. So wintry garlic of course, carrots, vegan veg stock, this is a mushroom stock, and also some marmite. Now this is a vegan friendly marmite and it really, I don't enjoy marmite, but it really adds nice flavor. Then I've got some onions as well. Really simple autumn ingredients. First thing I'm gonna do is add some oil to my pan. If you don't cook with oil, you can saute in water, but I'm just gonna use some olive oil so now that the oil is nice and warm, we're just gonna get these onions and we're gonna sear them off in the pan. So I'm gonna cook down these onions until they are nice and brown. While the onions are cooking, I'm literally just gonna cut up my carrots. Now these are organic, so I'm just gonna leave the skins on, but if you wanna peel them off, you are more than welcome to peel them off. And you just wanna make sure that you cut them into relatively even chunks, just so they cook at the same time. And you don't have some that are really hard and then some that are soft. As you can see, they have really started to caramelize up, which is what we want. And now we're gonna take those out and put those aside while we start to sear the rest. And at the bottom of the pan, we got all that really beautiful caramelization that's gonna add so much flavor to the stew at the end. Then in that same pot, we're gonna add in our carrots. As you can see, the carrots have now got that nice caramelization that's gonna add so much more flavor. Just like the onions, we're gonna set those aside so we can do the rest of the veg. Now you can all just cook this off in one pot at a time. But I find for the tastiest stew, searing them off like this just adds so much more flavor. I'm gonna roughly chop up some aubergines. You can use any of your favorite vegetables. I love aubergines, so that's what I'm gonna use. And they also add a really nice flavor when we're gonna put this in the oven. It's just really juicy. Then I'm going to really quickly just saute these aubergines just to get them nice and brown on the outside. Also just going to add in a little sprinkle of salt. Then I'm going to add in my mushrooms and like the rest, give them a quick brown off. So now that the mushrooms have browned off, I'm gonna put those aside and now it's time to make a sauce. I'm starting off with loads of garlic. Y'all know me, we're going garlic heavy. Use two cloves if you like. I'm going to use about six. So I'm just gonna roughly chop them. You can mince them, you can buy them pre-minced or you can just roughly chop them up. Adding my garlic straight in and we're gonna cook this down a little bit but not too much as we don't want it bitter. We just wanna soften it up. Now that the onions have softened up a little bit, I'm gonna add in some flour. The flour is gonna help thicken up this whole stew at the end. Then I'm gonna add in a really generous splash of vegan red wine. Red wine, where are my R's and my W's? Mix it together and then you wanna cook this off so it reduces and we burn off the alcohol and it also thickens up with the flour. Then I've got some bay leaves, some rosemary and fresh thyme and we're gonna add those straight in. And you can see it's also thickened up slightly, which is just what we want. 
Then I've got my tomato passata, which I'm gonna add in there. Some vegan vegetable stock. This is actually a mushroom vegan vegetable stock. And then, as I mentioned earlier, I'm also adding in some Marmite. Like I said, I actually don't like Marmite, but I love adding it to vegan recipes like this. It just adds more depth of flavor and umami flavors. You could also sub this out for miso paste or use miso paste as well. I'm also adding in a tiny bit of liquid smoke, which is optional, as well as a little bit of tamari, soy sauce, or coconut aminos. As we can see, it's got that really rich, beautiful color to it. Adding in some black cracked pepper. And then we're adding in all those delicious vegetables that we browned off earlier. Lastly, I'm gonna pop the lid on and put it in the oven to cook so all the flavors can intertwine and mix together. So while the shoe is cooking in the oven, I'm gonna make a side, I'm gonna make some mashed potatoes because it's classic. You could also use sweet potatoes. You could just void the potatoes if you want to. Make this your own, be creative, go with what suits how you like to eat. But today I'm making it with mashed potatoes. To make my really simple mash, I'm just gonna peel my potatoes. I recommend using russet potatoes, but if you can't get those, just use any. Then I'm gonna chop them into chunks, and you wanna keep the chunks relatively the same size, just so they cook in the same amount of time. It doesn't have to be perfect, just relative. Now that the potatoes are nice and chopped up, we're gonna add them to a pot, then we're gonna fill it with cold water just to cover, then put it on the stove, season with a little bit of sea salt, and then we're gonna bring it to a heat and cook until they're soft. Once the potatoes have softened up, you just wanna drain it to get rid of all that excess water, and then it is time to mash up these bad boys. Guess who doesn't even have a potato masher? I could have bought one in the supermarket, but I don't make mashed potato enough to warrant buying a mashed potato masher, as I just try not to buy things just to buy them anymore. It's gonna be more of a workout, put it that way. Now that I used up all my arm muscles, mashing up these potatoes, I'm gonna add in some vegan butter. I'm using Flora. Flora vegan butter is my favorite vegan butter at the minute. So, also I believe Flora only now do plant-based butter. They don't use dairy. With the butter, add as little or as much as you like. I'm not gonna control how much you wanna use. Do you, boo. So then I've got this nice, smooth, buttery mashed potatoes and I've got my stew in the oven. I took the lid off just so it would cook even more and thicken up and it comes out like this, so rich, so hearty. I'm just gonna roughly chop up some fresh parsley and I'm gonna throw this on top. I love parsley, so this is essential. And all it comes together. Look how rich in color it is. It literally tastes as rich as it looks. It's so delicious, so hearty. So here it is with some mashed potato and some parsley on top. You could also add any of your favorite sides. You could do this with sweet potato as well and it would be so good too. Or even add some broccoli, which I end up doing in the next clip. So I added some broccoli, because who wouldn't want to add some broccoli? If you do do that, I recommend roasting it in the oven and just adding it to the whole shebang. So there you have your super delicious stew. Now I've got a little taste test before I go and munch off that big bowl I made. I also added some broccoli. I recommend adding broccoli, asparagus, cavallero. It's gonna add more texture and you're getting more greens in, which is always good. And in general, the broccoli actually complements the overall dish. So add some broccoli to that bad boy. But just so you guys know what's going on. Oh, that is so good. Oh, it's so, mmm, mmm. It just hits the spot when it comes to a stew and it's thick, it's rich, there's plenty of sauce, so it's like a gravy that's gonna sit on top of the potatoes or whatever you serve it with. It's, just try it out. Try it out, I'm sure you're gonna love it. I'm gonna leave the recipe down below so you guys can try it out. If you do try it out, don't forget to let me know on Instagram. 
I wanna see what you guys are making, so let me know. I really hope you guys are gonna enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Please let me know in the comments any recipes that you do wanna see. I love making stuff that actually helps you guys out, so just let me know in the comments what you wanna see, what kind of food, what kind of recipes, what kind of videos are gonna help you out. And obviously, there is my book, Rach Lammers Vegan Eats, which has over 100 recipes. There's stews in there, there's curries in there, there's quick, there's, there's a lot of food in there. So make sure you do check it out if you wanna see more of my recipes. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the recipe and don't forget to subscribe because I'm here every week with new videos to share with you. Oh, also, just to let you guys know, um, you can also add vegan sausages to this. I've done that before as well and it's epic. And you guys already know that the vegan Sainsbury's sausages are my favorite ones. I added that to this, epic epic with broccoli epic or just keep it veggie based depending on what you prefer tweak the recipes to your preference i'll see you guys next week bye